I watch him remove his holstered Beretta M9. I'm not so idiotic. An unmistakable growl over his words and choice of action towards her appears in my throat. However, it isn't given the opportunity to be exposed. If that's the case, then you should shoot him for being incompetent. It is unwise, irresponsible, and asinine to have such a belief that simply because a person has an extra set of lips between their legs rather than a dick that they are less dangerous. If anything, logically speaking, they are more. Unlike a man who may come at you directly, a female on a mission to kill may choose to come at you indirectly. Weasel her way into your life, your bed, your heart. Her eyes pierce mine without mercy. Only to then kill you when you are most vulnerable. They have no problem lying in wait. Perplexity over how anyone can be this turned on and this uneasy at the same time joins the list of foreign emotions skulking their way down my spine. Then shoot him. Her fearless expression remains. I gesture my hand at Miko to offer her his weapon. Disbelief is hard to miss in Miko's voice. Stai... Stai Cherosando? Are you... Are you joking? No. Another scoff is shoved in my face. Ese in vegetis parasi. What if she shoots you instead? Is he joking? What are the chances she'd march all the way up here in those strappy black high heels that belonged pointed at my ceiling instead of clanking against my freshly scrubbed floors to make a big production on the off chance I'd put a weapon in her hands to be the one to kill me? I have better odds on them reversing the decisions revolving around the sale of shark fins in this country, which is pathetically low and a shame. I could save so much money if certain legislation makers would just open their ears. Or pockets, to be more accurate. Miko's unwavering look of concern prompts me to pull the matching weapon I have holstered, cock it, and offer it to the woman instead. Melio? Better? No, he grumbles in frustration. That's not better. I arrogantly smirk and meet her stoic stare. Take my gun and shoot him. The man nervously objects in the background. Mister, prove to him that he's wrong. To my surprise, there's no hesitation for her to transfer the weapon from my grip to hers, nor is there any when it comes to firing. The bullet is lodged in his foot, and the howls of pain that proceed to pour out of his mouth feel a bit dramatic. It was just his big toe. No need to be a baby about the damn thing. Try having it pulled out of your arm. You missed. I casually stayed as I take the offered pistol back into my possession. I didn't. You did. I didn't. Si, la fato. No, I didn't. She swiftly argues back. The shot was meant to be a lesson, not an execution. The agony he's experiencing will remind him of the mistake he made, and hopefully he'll learn from it. The statement that comes from me is softer than anticipated. You have mercy. Her smile slowly starts to blossom again. I don't. My weapon-wielding hand lifts and fires two rounds straight into his skull. Once more, I'm pleasantly surprised by her response. The fact she doesn't flinch from the unexpected loud sound, nor does she seem phased by the life I so callously took as much more than my curiosity stirring. A woman not easily shaken. Impressive.